Hello there, U.S. History students. My name is Lindsay Walcott, and I'm the broadcast journalism teacher here at West Ottawa High School, if you don't already know that. I oversee the WOBN students, and I've been asked to talk with you today about public service announcements. PSAs are a special type of commercial. In my classes, I often refer to them as commercials for a good cause. There is always a very clear message to a specific or target audience. For example, a PSA about drugs for middle school students would be, would be and should be very different uh, than a PSA on the same topic for college students. Some PSAs from my childhood are still very vivid in my memory because PSAs are usually very powerful. I think one of the reasons I never ever tried illegal drugs was a PSA that I remember from 1987. Again, I still remember it vividly. Check it out. Is there anyone out there who still isn't clear about what doing drugs does? Okay, last time. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? I'm sure you've seen PSAs before and maybe you didn't even realize it. Above the Influence is a very popular and successful campaign uh, in recent years and it targets you. Here are some examples. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. You break curfew. You don't answer your phone. And look what you did to your mother's car. What were you thinking? This isn't you. How much is that gonna cost? Look at this. Yo, you left this at the party last night. Life happened. I'm too old for finger painting. You guys going to Haley's thing tonight? Totes, time to get trapped. I don't, I don't. That was for your eyes only, Brian. Baby, if you send it to me, it's public property. Speak for yourself. Live above the influence. Hey, Lindsay. I wish you didn't smoke weed. You're not the same when you smoke. And I miss my friend. I'll be outside. PSAs always grab attention. I allow my WOBN students a little more freedom in a PSA because this is not reporting the news and most importantly, it's for a good cause. PSAs are sometimes shocking. Sometimes they can make viewers cry. Sometimes they are funny. They can even be borderline inappropriate. Successful PSAs are clever and create a message that is unforgettable. Within that, PSAs often have what is considered to be the strongest moment. This part really pounds the message home. It's striking for some reason. It is also likely that, the part, um, that this part is unforgettable. Maybe it's sad, shocking, or funny. Whatever it is, the message is clear and the viewer will not forget it. I suggest that you check out some more examples to really understand the power of PSAs. So now it's your turn to make a PSA. You'll want to do some planning prior to picking up a video camera. The professionals would use a storyboard to envision their PSA before they actually shoot it. When you plan, keep in mind what I've already said. 
the clear message, the target audience, you want to grab attention, make it memorable, and consider that strongest moment. When a video is considered for WOBN, I am looking for a polished video that is edited well. You'll want to use transitions, and if you're new to video, you should plan your PSA thinking of video and audio separately. Even though you'll record video and audio together, they can be handled separately when you're editing. Videos for WOBN cannot have excessive use of media that doesn't belong to you. For example, you can't create a PSA that has a bunch of images off Google. Audio is often the difference between a good video and a great video. When you're recording video, realize that your camera is going to pick up all sounds around you. A noisy classroom will sound like a noisy classroom. Listen carefully while you're gathering your video because other noises could completely crumble your message. Think about a bathroom dryer or a phone ringing or a loud sneeze. You don't want that. It's as important to hear the parts of your video as it is to see it. If you want to use some music, it's usually best practice to use it sparingly. And finally, what I, said my, what I find myself saying most frequently in WOBN is, your video needs to be tight. Let me explain. You don't want a lull in your video. You want things to move quickly from one part to the next. This is a good video, this is just plain good video editing, but also WOBN shows have limited minutes in each show. I probably say tighten it up, tighten it up to a WOBNer every day. It's really important to eliminate video or audio that is not necessary. A tight video comes through lots of editing and revision. PSAs are usually 30 seconds long. I'm not sure of the exact parameters of your assignment, but that would be a great time frame for WOBN programs as well. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. We would gladly air some of your class's best PSAs. You should also know that there are many PSA contests out there. Not only could your PSA air on WOBN, but it might even be possible to enter it into a video contest. Okay, now just to recap one more time. Clear message, target audience, grab attention, make it memorable, strongest moment, edited well, polished video, Think of audio and video separately. No excessive use of media that isn't yours. Listen, audio is really important and tricky and your video needs to be tight. I think that about covers it. I wish you the best on your assignment. Let us know if we can be of any further assistance. We're in B173 and my email is walcottl at westottawa.net. Good luck.